Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Monday, and it's also August 1st, so we're starting a new month. July is over. Uh, the summer is basically almost over, and uh, school's starting back around here for my, uh, my family anyway, and uh, the college here. So I'm just assuming it won't be long, but your kids are headed back to school as well. So um, the good part about that is the this time of year tends to uh, the market tends to pick up and volatility picks up and the volume and it looked like it we did have some pretty good volume today in the end we didn't really trade down a whole lot we closed around 2166 and we closed on friday at 2170 or so so maybe four points down but we had some really good moves down nice swing back up another nice swing back down so uh pretty good day um, but let's back out. We'll talk about the trades. Overall, I see a two-tier channel working down. You really didn't find this until, I mean, well, you couldn't really verify this until maybe, um, what time is this? 10 o'clock, 10, 15, somewhere in that range. Um, you should have had that trend line drawn across these swings here, just in case. And you might have had to adjust it a little bit. I originally had it a little bit lower, like so. You can see I'd adjust it just a little bit right there. And when you adjust it across those closes there, uh, it fits right across those. So it worked out good. Um, you might have a little problem finding this point down here because this midline wasn't real clear um, until later in the day when we got some more bounces off of it. So it may not have helped you find anything to the lower side at all. So, But that's why we draw these shorter term the shorter term stuff and go with that until it proves it's not in play anymore. So but let's back out, make it a little bigger and talk about the trades and wrap it up for today. Uh, when I came in, we were working down, clearly working down. Um, I marked this trade right here. Uh, this is right at, you can see it. This is right at about 7:30. So really we were kind of bouncing when I came in uh, but again, you draw those swings off those first two, sw or you draw your trend line off those first two swings there, and that set this up perfectly. Um, there's not really a a good trend line. It, it's hard to say where the trend line is here. Maybe it's right there, uh, but maybe it's a little steeper here off that first close right there. Generally, it's off the closes on the low side. And that would be here. These are the opens on the low side. But sometimes, usually those will work within the trend line as well. So it's hard to say where it's at here. Um, but the reason I like this trade regardless is this is a little congestion. So it's a failed break out uh, either way. But it confirms this trend line. That's your first two swings. And this turns down right off the EMA and the trend line. And when you get the EMA and the trend line together, it's like a double whammy. Look how bearish that bar is. I like going short right there. Um, we had an overshoot here, so you had to be a little bit concerned about a possible break here, but that was a pretty strong sell-off. And really, to be honest, I don't have it on here, but there's a little shorter-term trend working down, and that's the first close. So you still would look for prices to test the low there. Let me go ahead and get this little channel on here. But you can see that shorter term channel working down right through there. That's really where the downtrend started. And uh, we got an overshoot of this bigger channel. And in the end, the bigger channel could be down here. And there's, there may be a uh, midline in there as well. So um, let's just look at it real quick and see. It doesn't fit really well. It does fit across those lows, and it does come into play there. So that's probably going to be a midline, and maybe that's not an overshoot. Um, so because we did overshoot it again here and here, so it probably is a midline. It really doesn't matter because this is the trade we're interested in, and it's confirming the trend line, and it's a big bearish bar. So just go short there. Quick, easy move. you got plenty of room to get out. Then it pulls back and makes a little breakout pull back short, but it's another big bearish bar right off that trend line. I like entering again there. 
and then um, you try to go higher again. You kind of get a double test, and again, it closes right off. In, look how it closes inside. You, you know that trend lines. This one is going short at the low of the day, and we're kind of going sideways, but I still like that one red. It's real borderline. It could almost be green because it's at the low of the day, but if you draw that measured leg there and you're looking for another one, you're looking for prices to come down here and look, and that's a perfect measured move to the tick. So it doesn't get any better than that. And um, so that was another reason I still like that one. And it was even tempting to enter here, but we weren't back to the trend line. It's and it did go higher first and then turn down. And a lot of times you'll trap those people trying to catch a low of the day. Um, but I'm going to skip that one. I just don't think it's worth risking. Uh, you should have been looking to get in back here somewhere. Um, but anyway, we move on down. We get a break here. We get an attempt to go short. We go higher again. We get another attempt to go short. And that's a big bearish bar. But you don't want to go short right into that trend line that's proven right there. Um, you got to let this correction play out and who knows maybe this is a trend day and it doesn't it's not a correction we trend in the other way uh, or a range day and we trend in the other way because this may be the low of the day so you got to stay with this trend line until it proves otherwise um, if you don't like the long then just stay with the short but this is what you call it this is a reversal pattern um, it's that failed second entry short it's a little double top big bearish bar uh, so you're probably going to trap a lot of shorts there. So I like going long here. Uh, you might have used the limit order to let it break higher and drop it in, but a lot of times you'll miss some good trades. This is a good example here. You probably wouldn't have pulled back and it would have taken off without you. Um, but I like adding on here uh, because we're still holding on that trend line and still a reversal type bar. It went lower first and turned and went higher. So they trapped the shorts out here and... Um, if it goes higher, they're probably all going to run for the door, and it does, and it, it's a nice. It pulls back to the trend line again here, but um, you got to go along right into that high. It's just, it's it's a first entry. There's a, you know, you got to be worried about the trend line here. It's working down. Um, you know, there's some reasons to consider that when the EMA and the trend line are right together there, but. Um, I just don't like that one. I think you're better off to wait. And of course it pushes up, pulls back. It makes another new high and then it's coming down and um, you get a first entry here. You do get a break and a new low, but that's a first entry. That's a really big bar. Uh, so I think you need to wait and see if you get another little trap and you do right there and a nice reversal bar. Just go along right there. And this one kind of chops around to be honest. Uh, you actually could have considered going long again here because it noticed the new low, first entry, second entry, and it's that failure, and everything's still closing inside. But you've, you've basically got a new high or one tick away from it, so you got to be a little bit leery of that one. I will make it green. It probably should have been green, and it could be close to being um, blue. If it weren't for the break of the trend line, I'd probably left it blue. But you get the break of that trend line, and... You've already got a new high, or at least you're one tick away. You see it does pull back and traps more people, and then it shoots up. And you can tell it trapped people by how it rocketed off there. But where prices were heading were up to this trend line. And if you had drawn that, you, you'd been thinking about that, hopefully, and looking for it to possibly go to there. Because if you measure this first move as well, I'd say that's your first move, and there's your correction. So that puts prices up here, and that would have given you a target as well. Uh, but notice we can't get there because the trend line's here, and we run into it, and it sells off again. And this is a big sell-off, a huge sell-off. There was some news that came out about 9, but I don't think this probably had any effect, and I haven't looked at anything since then. It doesn't matter. You were expecting it. You should have been expecting it to turn down here. Um, we did have a break, a couple of legs up to a new high, and it's pretty much two measured legs. One leg, and then another leg, and there's actually two legs in this first leg. Push up, pull back. So there's a couple of legs up to a new high, and then you get this big bearish bar. 
So it's a pretty big bar, so I would let it break lower probably. You could have used a stop there, but I would have let it break lower and put a limit order maybe where it would have triggered off this bar back here just to get a little better entry close, a little further away from that EMA. Wouldn't have mattered. It would have worked either way. And notice this. There's two measured legs down, and we don't get a push higher here, but this still is a two legs down, so you can treat that like a failed second entry long. Uh, because it did try to go up again. It just couldn't break higher because of that trend line. And look how bearish that bar. You may not have got in that trade. Once it takes off like that, at least put a limit order there and see if it'll pull back to where you would have gotten filled anyway. Uh, it may be doubtful that you did. Um, so hopefully you got in back here and you would have survived if you did because it would have pulled back right here and filled you and then gone lower and it never came back again. So you'd have a runner here, and you could have played this whole move down. If you got in here, it may be a little different on your chart, but that was would have been really hard to get in on my chart. Uh, it may be doubtful that you entered that trade. If you didn't, there's no other entry all the way down. Just the bottom falls out of it. And really, we were looking for prices to come all the way down to here. But it bounces here. So, uh, But there's a, re a reversal pattern. Um, I wouldn't have taken it till here, but notice your new low, and you get a first entry, and there's a second entry short there, but you got a lot of bars stacked up. It's right into the EMA. Um, it pushes up and turns back down, but it bounces right where you would expect that trend line to be, and you get a little reversal bar, and it's also, notice all those matching. That's a failed break lower. Uh, it's a, this is a double bottom as well. This is a higher low. Um, there's enough room to get out before you get back to that EMA and before this double top. But that EMA would be my con my worry there. Just make sure you get in. And you may not have caught this trade because, again, it gapped and took off. And But if you put a limit order in there, there's a good chance you might have got filled on that one. Uh, pushes up, and then you're coming down. And um, I don't like this trade. This is, You could consider this a double bottom. And... Um, it's a nice bullish bar. It's the first break of this channel, but there's no break. Of, that's a sure trend line working lower there, a nice little channel, and there's no break and close outside or a new low or anything. So I just think that one's risky. It probably could be green, but I just I think you're better off to skip that trade. And you can see they trapped a bunch of people on the wrong side. Look how it rocketed it off. That's a sure sign they trapped people. And so now you got your close and you high, and you get a failed second entry long here. So I like this one. Again, that's a big bar. So you probably need to let it break lower lower here and then drop your limit order where you would have gotten filled on the smaller bar, and then you would have had just enough to get out. If you use this for a stop, uh, you got a huge bar, and you probably don't have enough room to get out. And so once it just started chopping around in here, you probably would have had to exit, or you would have gotten stopped out probably. So, um, and again, I made this one green just because the bar is so big. And the EMA is kind of getting flat here. And we're kind of, it does, it looks like a nice reversal pattern with that failure. Uh, so you, it's one you probably want to consider. But being this late in the day, you better make sure it's a textbook entry. So, uh, But, yeah, that was pretty much it. Not much else to talk about. Um, again, not a lot of trades today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's about, there's about eight regular trades, and there's three or four of the green ones that you could probably argue for um, if you really want to be aggressive. So, uh, but, yeah. Overall, just a downtrend today with downward bias, although prices are going back and forth across each side of the EMA once we found a bottom here. So really from here on, you could call this kind of a neutral bias day, but it's kind of got a downward, it's more of a neutral day with a downward bias. So um, you really can trade these kind of days both ways for the most part. When you got a trend line working up, Trade it up, and when you got a trend line down, trade it down. So, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. 
We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.